Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Very nice. Everything is good. Thank God. Um, so just checking that the weather is good. Hopefully tomorrow we're not going to have any rain. Okay, so let's see where is here. We have uh, very few students, so we're Yesenia, Yesenia, what is Yesenia? She's sending. Yesenia, can you speak? No microphone. Okay, so guys, let's see. For today, we have we have this. Mm -hmm. What is that thing we have? This is not you guys. What is in the name? Let me check this out. Good night, teacher. Hey, hello, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to see you tonight. You're welcome. So let's see, today we have a lot of things to do. So I'm thinking that the first thing we need to do is the reading. We have a reading today. Uh, <laughs> I'm be honest. No, I, I didn't read anything. Okay, so don't worry. It's if it, just in case we we'll do it together, okay? Okay. Good. Um. So let's see here. Okay, so let's see, this is a new week. So this is week number two. So this is what we have for today. Okay, so we only have four, seven students today. So where, when, when they, they come. Okay, so good evening, let's begin. For today, like I said, we're going to have a little bit of reading. Um, I'm going to um, share the screen with you guys. Okay, so that would be reading, what is the reading? reading? There it is.
Okay, here it is. Okay, so we're going to start with the PowerPoint presentation so we can have this uh, today. And it's um, what's in a name? That is the topic for today. Check what, what, what is all about names, okay? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Let me double check here. And we're going to start sharing. Okay, can everybody see here? Yes. Good. So today we're going to have this topic. Yes, yeah. What's yes, the yeah. name? So, yeah, okay. Okay. so let's see. Okay, we're not going to do this tonight because. Okay, so the, the thing is, is how do Americans' parents choose their babies' names? So let's see if we start reading for tonight. Uh, Rafael, can you start reading, please? Yes. Um, how do American parents choose their babies' names? There are no rules. Or almost, or almost, 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 almost no rules when it comes to Americans naming their children. Most of those laws have to do with being practical. For example, you can't name your child one, four, three, two, or I don't know, Symbol. or some. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or some type of obscenity. A few states also limit how long a name can be to ensure that it can be listened in computer fields. Good. Okay, so that means that um, there are no rules about naming somebody. You can put whatever name you can think of, uh, except for obscenity. You know what is obscenity? Uh-huh. Uh Bad words, bad words, like, mm. like saying things really, really bad. Any questions about here? Any vocabulary? Uh, uh, being, teacher. Being. F, F E W. F E W. Uh, Fifth states. Oh, a few. A few states. A few states. Few means cuantos. Unos cuantos estados. Unos cuantos estados. Oh, gracias. Okay, let's see who's next reading. Me. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, what does it mean to ensure? Para asegurar. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, Jesse, can you read this? Okay. Okay. How do I keep a conversation going when people ask how it's going? Oh wait, wait, wait! No, no, sorry, my bad. That's not, that's not that. Here, here, here. Uh, ah, okay, okay. The most traditional name is that the child will carry the father's surname. However, it is becoming increasingly, increasingly. increasingly popular that the child will have both the father's surname and the mother's maiden name with a high fame connecting, connecting, them, connecting. connecting them, or just the mother's maiden name. The later is common with and with mothers who are no longer in a relationship with the child's father at the time of birth. In a few instances, the child is giving a completely different surname from either parent either parents 
want to make the surname easier to say or because the parents dislike their own surnames and choose to not continue use of the name. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, what is what does surname means? What does it mean surname? Do you know what is surname? Anybody? Anybody? Apodo? No. Apodo is apellido. Nickname. Apellido. Ah. Okay. Apellido. Very good. Very good. Apellido. Remember that apellido in English you can say in the three different three different sayings. Uh -huh. uh, last name, surname, surname and family, family name. name. Family name. Family name. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Moving on. Any questions here? Vocabulary or anything? Increasingly. Increasingly. Creciente. Creciente. Que va creciendo. Increasingly. Carry. Carry, carry, carry. Which line? A child will carry the father's surname. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we, we, uh, llevar. Llevar, uh -huh. llevar. Okay. Llevará el, 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 el apellido mm -hmm. del papá. Mm -hmm. However, sin embargo, hyphen, teacher. Yes, any other question? A hyphen. Hyphen. Eh, uh -huh. Young. Ah, okay. Okay, moving on. Let's see who's next reading. Um, Josana. Hola. Okay, Osana, you, you can read this, please. First and middle names are usually very depend on the family and their individual taste options include, include giving of the children the subname, middle, middle name, usually the mother maiden name when the father's surname is used for surname, giving the children all the same starting letter. This can be a letter for all the children or different letter for the girls and boys. The letter can be, be based, 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 based on a per, on a person voice have the same letter as they father, girls, somewhere as they mother, or a random, random letter. Random letter, random letter, very good. Random letter. Yes, okay. Uh, so as you can see, it depends on whatever name. It could be the first name or, or middle names. That depends on the father and mother. Questions here? Any questions? Uh, random. Uh, random means al azar. Okay. Any other question? <coughs> no. Okay, moving on. Let's move on. Let's see who's next. Okay, Carla Ventura. Na, name, naming, uh, naming all of the children based on a specific book, shoot or movie. Uh, I, I live. I seen. See, I seen a feel where the children were all named after authors. Authors saw you go. Theoretically, theoretically, choose from a group of the people. They will feel after another person. This is where Junior, junior, uh -huh. junior two, and three, and three, and three come in, or using part of another person may. Often done as a way to honor the person, usually only 
the first night of the honorarium is used. This is tradition, traditional in some religion. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so as you can see, they can put the same name as the father, but they call it junior. And this is only for the boys. For example, mm -hmm. if, if you have your son, you're going to say, oh, my son is, uh, let's say, for example, Rafael. So you put mm -hmm. your, your son's name, Rafael, too. But they are going to call him junior, not Rafael, because it's mm -hmm. the same name of the father. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions yes. here? No. Good. Let's move on. And Laura is next reading. Laura? Okay. Naming a child based on cultural norms rather than social tone. Social tone. Social tone ones. You see this a lot with people who have a strong ties to their culture or religion. I see it a lot with Native Americans, Muslim and first generation Americans. Naming children after a company or selling the child's Oh, name. sorry, 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 my bad. Es la misma. Sorry. Okay. Uh, this is not very common, and personally, I think it's obnoxious. Obnoxious, but people have done it. It really is an individual thing. Uh, in my extended family, I've seen all of these parent, pat, parents, parents, parents use use with the exception of the last one very good thank you very much so naming a child is just based on culture and also it has to be about religion and some generations any questions about here sorry come back. no questions no Okay, so we finished with that. And let's see, I'm going to share with you guys. And the next thing is the exercise. Reading. Okay, wait, what is it, what is it, what is it? I think I had it. Okay. No. Okay, here we go. I'm looking for the reading. So, to share with you guys. So, let me open it right now. Here we go. Okay, let's go to the reading, which is here. Here we go. Can everybody see this? Yes. Good. So first I'm going to read it and then I'm going to ask somebody to read it. Um, wait, um, I'm going to make groups. So each group is going to read one part, okay? Listen, what's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with, the, with, the, with these names? What are they like? Hello, my name is. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? Names can be popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things and popular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. 
Here are some common opinions about names for from a recent survey. Voice names. George, average, boring. Jacob, created, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Girls names. Betty, old fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. So why do parents give their names their children and popular names. The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular now be, might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Betty's out there. Okay, so before we continue, do you have any questions about vocabulary in this reading? No questions. No. Okay, I want you to open this uh, this uh, reading in your in your computers, or maybe take a screenshot of of this one because what you're going to practice in in groups. Take a screenshot or open it in your computer. Got it? Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay, let's make a group. Remember what you're going to do here. Okay, what, what I want you to do here is that you take a paragraph, you read a paragraph, and the next uh, student or the next classmate is going to read the next paragraph and so on. Try to make one paragraph each. It doesn't matter if you repeat the first one or the second, okay? Here we go. I'm going to make the groups right now. How many do we have? Twelve. Three. Three groups. Okay, go to your groups. <clears throat> Lo puedo mandar yo ahorita, pero solo que como la, la, la pantalla de, de mi asunto es bien pequeña, no sé sí, si lo va a poder. Yo, yo lo voy a mandar al grupo. Yo se lo mando. Okay. Um, you know that you can share it here in, in, this, in this screen, you know. Lo pueden compartir aquí en esta pantalla también. Solo vayan a, a, al botón compartir, compartir pantalla y lo comparten. Ok. Ok, go. Oh, okay. No subido. Hey, guys, eh, can you share the, the, the screen? Pueden compartir aquí la, 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 la conversación. Sí, como lo hacemos. Haga, haga clic en, en, en el botón compartir pantalla. Abajo. Uh -huh. el, el verde. No sé si es esa imagen que mandé WhatsApp. El verde. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Parte la, la pantalla. Y esa imagen en qué número de lección está? Ya le digo, está en el. Let me check. Oh. 
en el 1.14. Es sección 1, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 1.14. Ahorita. Ok. Ya la... Si gusta la voy a compartir, creo que ya me okay. cargo. Ok, good. Ahorita solo. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Very sí, good, thanks. very good. So, start reading. Remember to start reading. Go. Uy, qué hice. For, for buy, for buy, and Emily, for girls. Mm -hmm. We are this and a popular, and we are some and a unpopular. Who is the first? Can I do the first? Okay. Okay. No, somos, somos cuatro. Four. Okay. Jose. Para no volver a leer los mismos. Mm -hmm. Si gusta el que el que le lleve el segundo, que lea el primero o ok. Y el que le dio el para último. Leer los tres, ajá. ajá. Okay. Y yo, yo que leí el primero, yo leo el cuadrito y lo último. Correcto. Your name is very common op opinion about name from a recent survey. Pero me quiero ver super simple. Eso no lo sabe. No sé, alguien que continúe. Ah, Rafael, Me creo toca... que
Okay, welcome back. Let's wait for everybody. We need to continue with the practice about the WH questions uh, in the four tenses, okay? Present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present. We're going to continue with that. Let's see what is everybody. Teacher. Yes. Hi, teacher. I have a question. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sur surprisingly. Surprisingly. Uh, uh, Surpresivamente. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Surprisingly. 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 Remember that it comes, it comes from surprise. Viene de, de la palabra surpri sorpresa, que es surprise. Ah, so, okay. surpresivamente, surprisingly. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay, anybody else has another question? No. no. Okay. Uh, man, the time, it passed really fast. So it's, it's like flying, time is flying. I want to yeah. do a lot of things with this group, but you know, time is pretty fast. So let's see what we have next because we need to continue with the topics still. So let's see the next topic. Uh, yes, I have it here. So I'm going to share it with you guys. <laughs> what is it? This one. Okay, can everybody see here? Yes. Good. So for this topic, we're going to be talking about identify this talk, of, uh, talk about where do you work. So the word, you know, the questions here, there are many questions when you are talking about work. Uh, like the number one is, what do you do or what do you do for a living so we're going to check how much do we know about asking where somebody works okay let's see okay we're not going to do this because we have too much to do okay talking about jobs okay uh, janet janet can you read this for for, for us please Janet? Janet, can you get Janet Suarez? Can you hear it? Okay, Sammy, can you read this, please? Okay, teacher. Go. Talking about jobs. What is your job? Is grammatical correct, but not usually the way we ask someone's occupation. Instead, we ask, What do you do? or the long form, What do you do for a living? Good, thank you very much. So, as you can see, what is your job is grammatically correct, but not usually the way we ask someone's occupation. occupation. Instead, we ask, What do you do? or the longer form what do you do for a living so these three questions are the same it doesn't matter if you ask what is your job what do you do or what do you do for a living it's the same thing so we're asking the same thing what what is your job okay any questions here longer teacher what longer 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 form la forma más larga okay thank you any other question? You said, uh, what do you, what are you living? I don't know. No, no. What do, what, you, what, the question? what do you do for a living? Ah, eh, eh, what do you, uh -huh. what do, you do for a living? Say. It's the same thing as what, what do you do? What's your job? And so on. So that's what do you do for a living means que haces para sobrevivir. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Let's see who's next reading. Uh, participants. Um, Jesse, can you read this? Okay. 
What does occupation or living mean? Occupation. Okay. Occupation, what do people do to make a living? And because all of us do something or the other, we can often talk about occupations. Here are some sample phrases and sentences you can use to talk about occupations. How do you ask someone what they do for a living? So, John, what do you do for a living? What is your occupation? What do you do make a living? I am doctor, I am a doctor. I help, help sick people. Very good, thank you very much. Okay, so as you can see, as you can see here, is the same thing. What is your occupation? What do you um, do to make a living? I'm a doctor. I help sick people. Yo soy un doctor. Yo ayudo a las, a las personas o a la gente que está enferma. Okay, questions? No questions. No. No questions. Moving on. Let's see who's next reading. Um, Osana, can you read this, please? Describing jobs. Des describing. Describing Des jobs. Describing jobs. A person who, who plus verb. What a what a baker. Baker. A person, baker. Baker. A person who makes bread. Very good. What a cobbler. Cobbler. Yes. A cobbler. person. Cobbler. Yes. A person who fight, fixes. fights shoes. Fixes, fixes shoes. Yes. What a bit a person who treats six animals. A person whose plus noun. What plurit? A person whose job is to sell flower. Very good. So as you can see, this is how we describe jobs. A person who plus verb. What's a baker? A person who makes bread. If, for example, another would be like, a, what's a teacher? Oh, a teacher is a person who teaches a subject. Okay. Any questions here? No questions. Very good. Let's see next. Uh, who's next to read? Uh, Jose. Jose, can you read here? Yes, teacher. Yeah, work. What do they do? Where do they work? Accountant, baker, barbers. Wait, wait, barber. no, 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 no. Do it like this. Do it like this. Look, accountants. Look Accountant. at the finance okay. in an organization. Yeah, okay, okay. Accountant. Look after the finances in an organization. They work in an office. Good. Baker, they breathe. They work in a bakery. Bakery. Barbers. Bakery. Bakery. Barbers, members, and cut men's hair. They work in a barbers. Barber woman. Server drink. They work in a bar pole or restaurant. Butcher. Prepare and sell meat. They work a booker. Don't worry, don't worry. Chambermaids clean entire rooms. They work in a hotel. Any ah, questions okay. here? Any questions? No questions. Okay, good. So these are the jobs, you know, the jobs, what they do and where they do. ¿Cómo se llama el trabajo? El trabajo que hacen y dónde lo hacen. What means butchers? Butchers. 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 Uh, the butcher is the one who cuts meat. El que prepara las carnes. Los que cortan la carne. Uh, okay. Carnicero. No es lo mismo que car carnicero. Carnicero, yes. Uh, sale mejor carnicero. Yes. Okay, let's go for yes, the next. Carnicero. Okay. Um, let's see who's next reading. 
that was Jose. Sofía, can you read this, please? Okay, todo lo voy a leer. Yes. Chef prepare and cook food. They work. They work. I know you. They work in a kitchen. We in the kitchen. Uh, dentist look after people's teeth. Mm -hmm. They work in dentist. Doctor look after people's health. They work in hospital or surgery. 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 Uh, fish home fish monkers prepare and sell fish. They work is in fish mongers. Five attendants look after passenger. They work in airplane, airplane and me. <laughs> Good, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Okay, so we see chef, dentist, doctors, fishmongers, flight attendants. Okay. Any questions? No. Fishmongers, pescador. No, los que preparan el pescado. Pero pues sería, sería como eh, no, los que los que ah. lo cortan. Pescadores. No, destazador, no. destazador. Pero sí, solo para pescado. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. Teacher. Gerente pues, de pescado. <ríe> no. <ríe> Un descamador. Algo así, ya. Yeah. Escamador, uh -huh. por ahí. Uh -huh. Escamador. Uh -huh. How do you say uh, preparar? Prepare. 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 Okay. Thanks. Good. So let's move on. Let's see who's next. Mm. Um, Carla Ventura. Hi. Yeah, hello. Can you read this, please? Her, 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 the next word. Put on the studio people her. They were is at her salad. You, judges. 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 Judges and sentencing people. They were in a low code. Langer, defend and prosecute people. The word in a long court and in a lower office. Nurses, look at the quarantine. They were in a hospital or doctor's surgery. Optical, optical. Look after people a field. They were in an optician. ¿Cómo se pronuncia optician? Yes, so we have hairdressers, judges, lawyers, nurses, opticians. Okay, questions? No, teacher. Okay, good. Moving on. Let's see who's next reading. Uh, Victor, can you read this, please? Receptionist, meet and greet visit, visitors. Visitors. Vis visitor. <laughs> they work in reception. Send assistant. Send gold and look after customer. They work in a shop. Secretary. Uh, Arrange shop. Appointment, type letters and organize organize meeting, organize meeting. They work in an office. Surgeon, operate on people who are sick. They work in a hospital. Hospital, hospital, hospital. Tailors, design, make. Alter of prepare garments. They work in uh, factories and shops. Very good. 
So in this one, we have receptionists, sales assistants, secretaries, surgeons, and tailors. Any questions here? Arrange the appointment, teacher. What? Arrange, arrange appointment, uh, secretary. Arrange appointments. Se encarga. Yes. Um, re, uh, eh, arreglan, arreglan los yeah. appointments son visitas o citas médicas o oh, citas okay. para ver yeah. a alguien. Okay. Okay. Any other question? No, we're good. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's see who's next. Roberto, can you read this? Teachers teach people they work in a school. Techni technicians. Te technicians. Organize and repair technical equipment. They work every, everywhere. Vets look after people's animals. They work in a veterinary surrogate or vets. Waiter, wait, waiters, wait, waiters, waitresses, waitresses, waiters, waitresses. Serve people food and drink. They work in a restaurant. Well, welder, well, mm, metal, metal, metal to make things they work in factories and constructions very good questions here so we have teachers technicians vets waiters waitresses and welders so we'll, questions no questions no teacher okay dokey let's move on okay that's it let's take a screenshot to this because you're going to work like this, you're going to give me your own example like this. For example, what's your name? My name is Tony. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Where do you work? I work in Inglés Corporativo. Or I can say, I work at Inglés Corporativo. What do you do there? I teach English there. Where is Inglés Corporativo located? It's located in Colonia Escalón by Torre de Futura. Got it? Uh, todavía no. Vamos a tomar una. But you're going to do it with your own information, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. In the WhatsApp group. No, 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 no. Here, here. I'm going to place you in 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 oh. groups. Ah, oh, no, the imagine. Let's take a screenshot. Uh, okay, take a screenshot. Yes. Yeah, and share in the WhatsApp group if someone want to. Si alguien la quiere Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. If you want to share, yeah, you can do that. But uh, right now I want you to take a screenshot because we're going to use it in the groups. We're good? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Good, let's move. Let's go here. Okay, okay. now let's make the groupings. We have 12, 12 participants, so I'm going to do four. Um, Going to do four groups. Let's see, groupings, four groups, four groups. Here we go. So remember, you're going to go and practice question sensor. For example, uh, Sophia asked Janet, and then Janet made the questions to Sophia, and so on. Okay, go. Go to your groups.
Entonces, si tenemos que preguntarlo. Pregunto yo, pregunto usted a mí también. Igual, ¿Hola? Eh, sí. Tenemos que preguntar la pantalla que nos mandó. ¿eh? Yeah. Sí. Yeah, for example, um, Jose is going to ask Roberto, and Roberto is going to ask Janet, and Janet is going to ask Jose. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. Make, make okay. all the questions, okay? Go. Okay. Roberto, este, what's your name? My name's Roberto. Eh, y, la, y la siguiente la pregunta yo, ¿verdad? No, 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 ah, no, sí, no, 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 no. Continue, continue the same. All questions to the same person. Oh, okay, okay. What do you do? I'm an engineer. Yeah. Where do you work? ¿Cómo se dice empresa? Se me olvida el nombre. Where is. Ajá. Para preguntarte, where. Uh, company? No, exactly. no, 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 wait. Oh. No, you're, you're the same thing. The same thing as I put there as an example. Where do you work? I work at and the name of the company. You don't say company. Okay? The same questions. Ooh. Don't change it. The same question. That's why I told you to take a screenshot. In the última pregunta, the last question, where uh -huh. is? Uh -huh. uh, de compañía o por decir no 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 está ubicada tu empresa ajá what is the, the name of the company Digicel okay. where is Digicel where is Digicel located ah, ah okay. el nombre de la de la empresa entonces mm -hmm. and then yes. uh, change who's going to make the questions okay ah uh, okay okay, okay. teacher ya yeah. cómo se dice eh, alguien que trabaja en administración de empresa ah alguien que trabaja en administración de empresa accounting Accounting. Yeah, accounting. Oh, okay. Or business business administration is the same thing. Business uh, administration. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Continue. And consultor. Consult. Sí. Si gusta, le pregunto yo para porque creo que ya vamos a regresar. Bye. What is your name? My name is Sofia Ayala. Okay. What do you do? I am psychologist. Okay. Wait, Where wait, do you wait. Sofia, Sofia. You have to say, I am a. I am a psychologist or I'm a psychologist. You forgot the a. So, I'm a psychologist. Okay? I'm a psychologist. There you go. Yes. Okay, continue. Okay, thank you. Where do you work? Uh -huh. Mr. We finish. You finish. Good, good. Yes. yes. Very good. Okay. Um, Rafael, can you do me the questions? Yes. Okay. Do the questions, please. To me. To me. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. What's your name? My name is Tony. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'm an Tony. English teacher. Okay. Tony, where do you work? I work at English Corporativo. Uh, what do you do there? I teach English online there. Okay. Where is English Corporativo located? It's located at uh, Colonia Escalón by Torre Futura. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to ask you, uh, Laura. Laura. So what's your name? My name is Laura Hernandez. Good. And what do you do, Laura? I'm a um, project assistant. Thank you. And where do you work? I work in Huawei Telecommunication. Nice. And where is Huawei Telecommunications located? It's located in La Cima. Uh, referencia? Bye. By no, uh, let me see. I forget a la par. Uh, next to next to next to okay next to mm -hmm. la despensa de Don Juan. Good, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. so thank you very much. Let me go. Okay. <coughs>
<laughs> let's wait for everybody to come back. Let's see who's coming back already. Good, we're missing, we're missing some people. Okay. Good. Almost everybody's here now. Okay. So that was the class for today. See, as you can see, that we didn't have much time. Uh, so we could do like a WH questions in the four tenses. We, we haven't finished all the 14 information questions that we need to do in the four tenses. Remember that, that we are actually practicing four tenses, which are present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present, okay? So what we're going to do tomorrow is that, um, remind me please, remind me that, that we're going to practice all of them, okay? Um, so this is it, uh, any questions before we go? Oh, another thing, if you have any questions whenever you're doing your homework, take a screenshot, of whatever you have problems with and ask me and I'm going to help you with that, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow and have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, night teacher. Good night, night teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow, God willing.